Emotional Rex is a weird name for a game, and that's because the theme of this game here is some aliens have come to Earth after Earth has been destroyed. They resurrect a human to learn about humans' emotions, except they accidentally resurrect a T-Rex and think it's a human. Okay, put that out of your mind because that's nothing to do with the game. This game is a game in which you are going to say sentences with certain moods. You know, I might say is I'm going to read a sentence in a cowardly way or a happy way, and everyone else is trying to guess what that sentence is. Let me show you. In this game, you're going to have some random emotion cards that are placed here from numbers 1 to 10. Each player is going to get four chips. One player is going to go first. They are the emotional T-Rex. They're going to roll a 10-sided die in a cup and secretly look at the number. That's the emotion they have to do. They then get a sentence, and they have to read it in that. So in this one, I'd go, well... That was fast. And you have to read it three times. Well, that was fast. And you read it, and then everyone else is going to be putting down tokens, one token each, on the one that they think you did. So they might cause intense, panic, shy. If they have a hard time telling between two that are on opposite sides, they can put one here, or they can even put one here for this entire row. Once everyone's done that, you flip them face up, and this matters because the four chips do different things. If you're correct, and by the way, the correct answer was worried, and you, you're going to get four points if you put your chip here. You'll get two points if you put it here. However, this chip flips over everyone else's chips that's there. So if you put this, uh, this one here, and I put this one here, and we flip them over, your plus one turns into a minus. You actually lose one point, so you only get three points if you get it correct. This gives plus one, this gives my, plus two, and this one, if I put it here, it counts for this answer or these two answers, so this person would still get the four, full four points. If you go down here in these bottom spots, you're guessing on a whole side, you're only going to get you're going to get zero points. But if you put the plus one or plus two there, you get some you get those points at least. Um, after that, the card that was that was worried is taken away. A new card is put in its spot, enraged, and the next person goes, and they have to read the sentence. Why can't you do it? Or the sentence, ha, 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 or this feels so good, or excuse me, where's the bathroom, or go away before I blow you into pieces. So you're going to go around the table, everyone reads three, you're collecting these cards over here for points, and whoever has the most points is the winner. Each time you use a chip, it comes back to you face up, and you can't use them again until all your chips are face up. Then you flip them face down, and then you can use any of your four chips. That's how you play. Well... Emotional Rex here is a unique game until I realized I played a game that's just like it called Moods. Moods came out 20 years ago. It was a party game I really enjoyed. And this is essentially exactly the same game. I sent down to the point where in Moods you rolled a little cup with a die, looked at it, one through nine out of ten things, and everyone guessed. This one adds to Moods with chips that have different things on them where you can bet in between two different Moods and a few other minor things. And you know what? Every single edition is worse. Moods was just, hey, pick the card. Pick the, the mood that you think it is. And also Moods had a better rule that when you would pick all the cards, every card that someone voted on was gone. So there was more change in the moods out there. But some of these things, like the chip and the flipping over other people's chips, is so unnecessarily complicated for a little party game. And then also betting between two words. The fact that those two words are close together almost never happens. I played several games where it never happened. And even if it did, two points, I'd rather take the chance and guess on the word itself and get four. So there's some, I, I like the idea, but honestly, I'll just go to a thrift store or something and hunt down the old game moods instead of this one. Because like I said, they're kind of the same game. So because of that, I can't really recommend this one. There's some neat ideas in it, but it just feels like a copy of another game. So I'm giving it a 5 out of 10.